Have you ever had a near-death experience? Maybe a reckless accident, severe sickness, or devastation by a natural calamity? Well, I have, and it was frightening. But it was not inflicted by any of the things I just mentioned. Rather, it happened when I was seriously contemplating the absurdity of life, and if it was still worth living. At that time, it felt like I was in a pitch black room with no light. I had no appetite for life, much less for God. It was dry, and hope was scarce, and it felt as though I was already dead inside. But I was already a Christian then, and I remember God sustaining me by calling to my mind verses that reminded me of His grace, His mercy, His love, and His deliverance. Psalm 34 was one of them. O taste and see that the Lord is good. At first glance, this seems stone deaf for people who are suffering. But as we look into its context, we see a gem for people in dire need of hope. You see, David was suffering too when he penned this psalm. He was being hunted down by King Saul. He narrowly escaped, but not long after, he ran into yet another oppressor who was hostile toward him. And sadly, David tried to deceive the king of Gath to preserve his own life. You know, soon after, God saved him. And he realized that God had been gracious in doing so. And even more so, he realized that deception is not the way to a good life. Rather, we should fear God and walk in His righteous ways with integrity. It says in Psalm 34, verses 12 to 14, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. David is saying that the fear of the Lord involves obedience. If you want a good life, then fear the Lord and do good. It doesn't matter if you have been wronged, do good anyway. Yes, we've been hurt, we have suffered, we have been in pain, but it is not an excuse to be wicked and to be stingy towards others. If you have lost your hope and you're angry and you're tempted to return evil for evil, don't do it. David tried it, I tried it, and it's not going to lead us to life. You know, God knows the suffering you carry and He knows exactly what you need. It may not always be a pain-free journey, but He will bring you to faith, joy, and life through hardship. And through it all, we can say, indeed, despite many afflictions, we have tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Have a great day.